cereal before milk or after? By Beatman. Milk before and after. Calcium is the most important meal of the day. I know Sans plays the trombone. Wink. But do you play any instruments? From Phineas. Well, as heard in my hit single, Papyrus' Cool Song, my singing voice is like an orchestra of its own. Otherwise, I've always been interested in the xylophone. Something about its sound tickles my ribs. How would you feel if you knew a friend was keeping something from you? From Felix. Keeping something? From me? You mean, like keeping the bone I gave them as a gift? Displaying it proudly upon their hearth? I would feel warmth and pride! Please keep things from me! Can you show us a photo from when you were small? From Kena Nihonjin. Okay, here it is! I'm showing it! I'm holding it up! What do you think? That's a photo of you cleaning the sink yesterday. I grow a little every day! What would you do if Sans wasn't your brother? From Prunzel Clone. You mean if he was my mother? Sans, if you were my mother, would you cut up an apple without me having to ask? Yeah, I'd have to. Really? Apparently one thing would change. Dear Papyrus, do you polish your skull? From Crowhead. Try mayonnaise for a pristine sheen! Question, what's your opinion on macaroni and mayonnaise? I believe it's a delicacy. From Rames Jandol. Macaroni, I give my highest marks. However, mayonnaise is a beauticus oil. You're not supposed to eat that. I eat it. Case in point. How does it feel to have such incredibly large muscles? Does it restrict your combat ability? From Zazzle. Yes, at first it slowed me down. However, after weighted training with my battle body, my strength has made me nimble and acrobatic! He landed a kickflip for the first time the other day. I landed a kickflip! A half one! A half one! Show them the video! We recorded him lying on the floor pretending to do tricks and then edited him to look like he's flying through the air. Don't explain it like that! It's a trailer! We'll do it real later! Papyrus, would you smooch a ghost from Fan the Can? If I was in love with a ghost or ghoul, I would do anything for them. Even... Mm, bestow... Mm, upon them... Mm, a kiss! Which is better, a day where you woke up thinking you'd have training but you didn't? Or a day where you knew it was a day off from the start? From Yatsun. For me, it's better to know if it's a day off from the start. I would be disappointed if my training was cancelled. Unless there was something even better waiting instead. So, the best thing of all would be a surprise party where I train with all of my friends. Do you catch yourself in your own traps? Uh, Tia Gox Dpr? Uh, DP, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. By accident? I have never done that! I'm testing them. Want me to untwist the hammock? This is not a hammock! It is a battle net! And as you can see, it is very effective! Papyrus, if you had a pet, what would it be? From Emily Ann. Not a dog, that's for sure. I've chalked the walls, but one keeps getting in here. We need to put up some nets. You mean hammocks? WRONG! Does pineapple belong on pizza? From JB Sonic. Yes! All fruits are fair game, including the fine kiwi! Pizza toppings, huh? He really likes corn and mayonnaise. What the f- That was mayonnaise?! You said it was awesome sauce! Sometimes it takes a trick to get you to try new things. That trick isn't for unhealthy food! Have you ever thought about what you would look like if you were a human? From Toon IRL. Hmm. The same, but with even more hair. Do monsters shower regularly, or do they just kinda live the wild life? From Ba Heart. 
some don't. Hey. And some do. Some do. This is the part where the other people who shower are supposed to show up. Where are they? In the shower. Oh, that makes sense. By the way, when are you going to be done with your bubble bath? When the bubbles run out. I see. Well, you seem to be adding more bubble solution. Gotta get clean. And when are you planning to go in the water? Just kind of playing it by ear. Just let me take a shower already! What would you wear for an elegant party from KYO? Using black paint, anyone's battle body can become a party body. Transform! Tuxedo mode! The tie can be real or not! OMG, hi! Okay, okay, so I absolutely love Sans, and I need to know, like, what is Sans's canonical height? Is he shorty short or a beanpole? From Desperately. What? These questions are supposed to be for me! Fine. You know what? I'll indulge you. Sans? What's up? How tall is your cannon? Isn't the cannon yours? For the purposes of this question, I am... Ugh, lending it to you. Okay, okay. So how tall is it? I guess as tall as a short bean pole. Okay, there you have it. Now remember, next time ask the question to me, not the cannon. What was your life before you moved into Snowden from Facade Cake? Before Snowden? Hmm, well, there was green grass and... Hey, shower's free. Finally, Sans, finish the question for me. Sure. The question finished. Do you argue a lot with your brother? How do you guys make up? From meow? Meow? Arguing, huh? Can't remember ever doing that. What? Yes, we do! The two of us are the picture of peace. We're fighting right now! Just because Papyrus is so easy to get along with. I am? I mean, of course I am! <laughs> Your best and most chewable skeletal feature from Legion of Little Puppies. What? I have never been chewable! But if I was, I would contain every ingredient and nutrient. As for my best skeletal motion feature, it's definitely the very famous skateboarding video we filmed the last time. It should be right. Hey, it's all chewed up. Who's been teething on my tricks? <laughs> Gee, that's rough. Sans, how many times have I told you not to chew on my videos? Uh, I think zero. I see. Then the culprit will remain a mystery for now. I think I might have a clue who it is. What? I can't hear you! I'm looking for my detective costume! What's the relationship like with your tiny friend Flowery from Bobin Socks? Oh, my tiny friend Flowery! It's Flowey, no R. Yes, my tiny and small friend Flowey! Whatever you say, papayas. Who's that? Based on the name, it sounds like we would get along. What is the coolest thing in your wardrobe? From Jolene. Hmm, let me walk in and check. I got it, it's me! What's the coolest thing outside your wardrobe? Ha, one step out and it's me again! What about inside and outside your wardrobe? One foot in both, it's also me! What about inside and outside your wardrobe and also on top of your desk? Foot in wardrobe, foot on desk, me! And the ceiling? Hand on desk, foot on ceiling, foot on wardrobe, me! And in your bed? Move the bed on top of the desk, hand in bed, foot on ceiling, foot in wardrobe, me! And standing just out of reach on your rug? Sands! Me? How do you feel about your brother being included in a certain monumental fighting game when you're the one who's obviously put far more legwork into training? From Video Gert. What? This must be a fake and also joke message! Everyone knows my brother is too lazy to ever fight anybody. 
If he was, for example, put in a fighting tournament, he wouldn't even throw a punch. Instead, he'd probably trick someone into wearing a costume that looks like him. And while they were out there, doing all the work, sweating and suffering from their grave combat, he would be lounging backstage, chatting it up, eating conspicuously two-dimensional food, and cracking jokes about the battle, like, I sure am bad at this, huh? As a reward, his impersonator only gets a handshake! However, this is merely a theory of games. Since, after all, my brother would never be included in a- Hey, Papyrus, uh, have you seen an invitation around here? Huh? Can you shoot lightning bolts, Papaya? From Yaz Lowell. Sorry, I think this message is intended for Flowery's friend. He sounds very cool, though. Can he fire lightning? What should I name my new cat? From Panini. A cat? You should call it Papyrus! But you should think of a custom secret name also. In case the both of us are in the same room, you can call me the secret name, and no one will suspect. You should totally name it Mew Mew Mew. Silence, Papyrus! What's a circus from Clown? You are a clown! The place you work is the circus! And you sleep on a big bouncy ball at the back of the tent! Also, you have been caged for being too annoying! I get it, I get it. Are you gonna read the question or not? I'm getting to that! You win a million dollars, but you have to write in cursive for the rest of your life. Would you take the money from Trevor? Hmm, it's tempting. But think about it. Everything you ever wrote would have to be in some annoying, difficult-to-read font. If I did that long enough, Everyone might even start calling me cursive! Think about it, being named after a writing style. It's ridiculous. I much prefer just... Sans, uh, where did you get that expensive hat? I don't know.